All right, guys, today we are making the best Valentine's Day brunch ever. Here are the items that you are going to need for the ultimate chicken and waffle bouquet breakfast brunch display. So first things first, you're going to get your chicken and waffles and you're going to prepare them any way you like. I got mine from the store in your local grocer's freezer and I prepared mine according to package directions. It was quick and easy. It might have been smarter for me to put them on the skewer and then heat them but I'm not quite sure that that would have been the best either. I did um, do one chicken piece per skewer, but then I decided to add a second one, and I think that from here on out, I will put two chicken pieces on a skewer. It made a fuller design in the vase, and it also made it easier for consumption. When you were going back, you didn't have to grab as many skewers and look like the greediest person in the world. So just arrange them however you like them, get them on the skewers, and get them ready to go. All right, let's get ready to decorate the vase. I chose something very easy. I did a very short vase that I picked up from the dollar store. I also did a very nice sheer ribbon that I picked up from the dollar store. And I thought since the ribbon was kind of sheer, I would need something on the inside of the vase to make the color of the ribbon pop. So I used a napkin that I picked up from the dollar store. I originally was going to do a two-tone napkin type thing with some red napkin inside, some white napkin inside, but that did not turn out to be the nicest looking option. So I went ahead and did uh, the napkins inside and then I just measured the ribbon out a little bit to see how much I would need. I was hoping that I would be able to create some kind of pretty bow, but it turned out a quick tie like this worked out really nice. It was pretty, it looked good. So if you are doing this and tying bows and ribbons aren't your thing don't worry just make a quick knot i went back in and cut off the extra white that was at the top so that it fit better in the jar in this next section you will see that i am creating a grid across the top of my vase this grid i'm using simple everyday scotch tape and i'm doing some tape vertically and some tape horizontally to make a grid and like a waffle formation on top. Next, you're going to make sure you wash your strawberries nicely, dry them very nicely. You can use a veggie wash or however you wash your fruit. Um, I thought that this was going to be really cute with the back to back and stacking them and putting, leaving like the green things on, but I don't know what I was thinking about. That certainly is not going to work. So you see me going in and cutting them and trying some different things. Finally, I got the uh, tops cut off and now I'm just quickly putting them on a skewer in different ways. Some of them were super, super jumbo and it made sense to put them sideways so that they wouldn't fall off. And then the rest of them I just stacked in a nice row. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Just get them on the skewer and get them ready to go. Um, one thing I will note uh, in the future, I will get longer skewers so I can get more fruit and more things on one skewer. Okay, so you have done all of the hard work and we're at the home stretch now. You have all the food on skewers and you're ready to go. If you take a look at my vase, you will see that I did ultimately have to remove the white paper inside using the skewers and putting them through the grid that I created with the scotch tape just didn't work out very well. It had to be taken out even though I do think it looked better with the white inside. You got to do what you got to do. So here I am just arranging all of the skewers into the vase. Like I pointed out earlier I do have a short vase but you can still see with the short vase the skewers that I used are not reaching the bottom and that also made it difficult to arrange all of the food in the vase. So here is a note for you. When you get ready to do this, use the longest skewers you can find. They have long bamboo skewers and I went out and bought them the very next day. 
just so I will have them on deck for any time I try to do this again. Luckily, I did have that tape lattice there and I was able to kind of rest some of the skewers on the lattice. The skewers that have the two chicken strips on them worked out better than just having one. Um, the one and sometimes were kind of slipping through the lattice so I had to build in the strawberries first and then put in the one the singular chicken strips and then the doubles were fine anywhere I put them. I did find out that no matter where you put things and how you start it's always going to look like it's not working out like it's one sided. I even started over a couple times thinking oh I didn't get a good start but you kind of just have to put them in there hold them, stuff them in there. The more that you put in there, the more volume in there, the better it will look. So when you first start, it looks wimpy, like it's falling over, like it's not going to work. But just keep building, keep trying, and it works, and it's easily done. I made it way harder than it had to be, but in the end, just start sticking them in there and adding more, and it'll be just fine. Here I'm sort of starting to get the hang of it, and I'm just moving through it, adding them in there, holding things where it needs to be, rotating the vase so I can get a better look and a better angle. And as you can see, the more that I got in there, the better they looked. The strawberries brought a nice pop of color. They also brought a wonderful sweetness. Um, I might have mentioned earlier that I used a slightly sweet sweetened chicken strip and the slightly sweetened waffle sticks as well. So when I finished, I personally did not use any type of syrup or powdered sugar or whipped cream or anything like that, but I know lots of people do prefer that, so you can get a little cup on the side and get that done. I think these turned out very nicely. I thought it was very full. I thought the red ribbon looked great with the red strawberries. All right, guys, so not only is this like the cutest thing ever, it looked so cute with the red ribbon, like I said. The red strawberries gave it a great pop of color. I thought it was so, so, so cute, and I was really proud of it. And then I shared some of it with my family, and they thought it was so delicious. I decided to try it too, and it was so amazingly good. This is something that is not only cute for Valentine's Day, not only something that is easy to do for Valentine's Day, not only something that is novel and kind of like, oh, I never would have thought of that and unique, but I can't emphasize to you how good this was. If you want, you can add some syrup or something to it, but I didn't think it needed that. It was perfect. I hope you love it as much as I did. Friends, if you do this and you end up with any helpful hints, any tricks, some great ideas or anything, please comment below and let me know. I would love to know those. Thank you so much for sticking with me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and come back to see what I have next time. Thanks.